You are currently the only person in this conference. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yeah, hi, this is Jason calling you from Healthcare Sport on a recorded line. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you so much for asking. Actually, the reason of my call is just to make sure that most of the people are not getting the benefits of year 2022 from Medicare. So, do you have Medicare Part A and B? Yes. Okay. So, besides Medicare, do you have any retirement plan like TRICARE or VA? No, even though I was once in the military, I don't have TRICARE or VA. What happened is I was stationed in Nam in 68 during the Tet Offensive, and my lieutenant told me to go fight Charlie, and I didn't feel like fighting Charlie, so I threw a grenade in his tent, and after that, I was court-martialed and dishonorably discharged, so I have no TRICARE or VA. Okay. It means you don't have any type of retirement plan, like strike, uh, VA, or any, right? No. The, for some reason, uh, the Army didn't like the idea. I blew up my own lieutenant with a grenade, and they had no sense of humor. So now I have no VA and no TRICARE. Okay. So, now please confirm me that... You say that you make your own decision regarding Medicare, right? I've been making my own decisions ever since I fired my caseworker, Anita Bath, and ever since I fired my lawyer, Saul Goodman. Okay, so how do you pronounce your first and last name? My first name is pronounced Robert, and my last name is pronounced Grinnell. Okay, so please confirm me that how, like, how, your what's, what's your last name? Grinnell. So it's spelled G as in golf. All right. R is in Romeo. You know. I is in India. And it's in November. And it's in November. E as in Echo. L is in Lima. L is in Lima. It's the same spelling as the college in Iowa or the name of the bird expert who died in 1939. Yes. So that's how it's spelled. Sir, so, so it means... Okay, so your last name is Greenell, right? Yes. All right. So, now please confirm me. That do you have any re retirement plan like TRICARE or VA, you say no? No, nothing like that. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 79. Okay, so do you make your own decision regarding Medicare? Yes, ever since I fired my caseworker, Anita Bath, and ever since I fired my lawyer, Saul Goodman. Okay, so now please confirm me that. Okay, so now please confirm me that. Do you remember your social or any Medicare card ID? Well, my social security card is upstairs. It'll take me a few moments for me to get there. You move a bit slow when you're 79, so I'm climbing the stairs. Hello. Yeah, you have the customer. Which name is Robert Greenell with the zip code 48126 with the state Michigan. Please assist this. Okay, thank you so much for holding. This is Travel Homan from the Senior Verification Department. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good, sir. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, well, I understand you are interested in learning more about additional benefits on your Medicare. Yes. Okay, you just transferred over to me so I can further assist you on your Medicare options plan. So, uh, I believe you have Medicare Part C and B, right? Yes. Okay, 
and what is your age? How old are you? I'm 79. 79 years young, and what's your zip code over there? 48126. Uh, you are living in Michigan, right? Yes! All right. And uh, you don't have any military plan like VA or TRICARE for life? No. Even though I was in the military, I have no VA and no TRICARE. What happened is I was stationed in Nam in 68 during the Tet Offensive, and my lieutenant told me to go fight Charlie, and I didn't feel like fighting Charlie, so I threw a grenade in his tent, and after that I was court-martialed and dishonorably discharged, so I have no VA and no TRICARE. Hello? You have been kicked from this conference. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Susan. I'm a Medicare healthcare advisor on a recorded line. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Good. Well, I am with one of the providers for Medicare Health Center, and based on our records, I showed that you may qualify for information for ways to reduce or even eliminate the cost for healthcare expenses. I have a few questions to go over with you, okay? Okay. Perfect. Do you currently have Medicare Part A and Part B active right now? Yes. Wonderful. Do you make your own health care decisions? Like, I mean to say, you are a decision maker? Yes. All right. Okay, what I'm going to do now is bring one of our specialists on the line. You may hear some phone system prompts while I'm bringing them online, but just remain on the line, okay? Okay. One moment, please. Oh, I heard a Sorry, bloop sound. Oh, I thought I heard a bloop sound. How can I help you? Well, I'm supposed to help you today. Yes, aren't you supposed to offer me Medicare Part C and Medicare Part D? Yes, sir. Which one would you like to get? I can, when you get to be my age, you take whatever you can get. So what do I have to do? Can you repeat? Do you have Medicare A and B? Yes. How old are you? 79. Why are you yelling? I'm hard of hearing. I want to see what you sound like when you're 79. But I'm 21. Don't assume things about yourself. Uh, this is the way I talk. Maybe you'll sound different when you're 79. So what do I have to do to get this Medicare? Well, right now, I don't want to use the word that I have in my mind, but I'll let you get But I want my Medicare. Oh, I heard a whoosh sound. Hello? Hello?